Hello, water signs. Welcome back to the channel. My name is T. Said it's so great to have you here. I'm here now, looking into March the seventh and March the eighth is 2024. Everything you need to know about me down below in the description box. Okay. Thank you for all of your love and your support. So let's go ahead now and see what kind of energy we have come out right here for you. All right. I'm going to pull all the cards that I have right here for you, and then we'll talk about everything. Okay. So let me see what I have because I have four different decks. And let's see what we have here for water signs. It's Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. March the 7th and March the 8th of 2024, please. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. March the 7th and March the 8th, 2024. And March the 8th, 2024. Okay. March the 7th and March the 8th of 2024, please. For Cancer, of Pisces, and Scorpio. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Cancer, of Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay, see here. Cancer, of Pisces, and Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is our last row right here, okay? So let's see what we have here, please. For Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. All right, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, okay? So something here is a for real faded moment in time in some way. This one right here and this one right here. So I think it's fate, I feel, right here. Definitely, okay? It's a turning point in your life or something like that. So that's how I kind of feel here. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So we have cups right here. Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Okay. So I feel like right here that there's some truth coming out right here. Could be about a reconciliation. A reconciliation with the Three of Cups. Could be about a past life. Could be about um third party. It could be some truth right here about um a, a party, some type of party or excitement could be the case. I feel like you're looking at it. Seven of Pentacles is looking at what I invested in right here, or looking at the harvest could be the case in some way. Okay, so you're looking at something like that, I feel, all right? Reveal, it's reveal, okay? Commitment right here and self-love. Okay, it says, I want to tell you the truth. Hmm, I want you to be a part of my future. Reveal right here. It says, self-love, I'm trying to heal. Maybe somebody wants you to be a part of their future right here, and they're really trying to heal, I feel, right? Yeah, it could be the case, all right? Magnetic attraction right here. Single and snake. Oh, the snake is down there, but all right, let's take a look at it since it's there. All right, so, so for some of you right here, we have a secret crush that's really alluring or something like that. Yeah, okay. So I feel like right here, right, somebody's flirting with somebody right here. All right, I feel like it's irresistible or something, okay? Yeah, the single card and it's magnetic attraction. I said it's to Pisces, I think, yeah. So I'm getting like, somebody's really attracted to you, I feel. Okay, and this person could be a secret crush. It could be a secret admirer. Okay, they give you buddy butterflies or something like that. Yeah. Now I'm not sure if somebody here was tempted right here to be deceptive or shady or enemy or what. Okay, could be for some people here, because that snake card do say that right there. So I'm not sure if somebody is tempted to do something like that. Okay. Hmm. Could be. All right, let's see what else. Let's see what else we got here. Landscaper. All right. Grass cutting. This here is fate. You're going to survive something right here. And it says right here, vegetarian clean eating. Okay, landscaper right here. Grass cutting flowers, nature. You could be hanging lights right here. It's a type of way. Yeah, it could be. It says something here is fate. You're going to survive something right here. For some people right here. Okay, and this had to do with nature. Even landscaping has to do with nature right here, right? And um, this hanging up, you know, lights or grass cutting or flowers. Both of them had to do with nature. Okay, so some of you being outside in nature or eating fruits and vegetables, that's going to be really, that's be really good for you right now, okay? 
Okay. Something here is fate. You're going to survive something on the other center here. You're going to really survive something. I feel like the divine intervenes. And that's a revelation right here. That something is a divine intervention in some way here. I feel right here. Because I do feel like somebody's intuitive right here. Yeah. Somebody here is definitely intuitive right here. Okay. You know, I feel like somebody look at some joke or jokes and then they listen to your intuition about it right here. Premonition, sixth sense right here. Reminiscing how you're intuitive. Something like that. If somebody's intuitive here, I feel. This one right here. All right. And that's fate. Yeah. See, the mind's going to intervene in something right here. Something here is fate. Okay. Because something here is a fated turning point in your life. Or something here is fated about something here in some way. Okay. It's fate about this right now. And somebody will really realize that the divine is here. Like God, the universe, the divine is here. But like they will realize that here. Maybe somebody will realize that you're a psychic. Could be the case. Water signs, okay? So somebody may really realize that, I feel. Yeah, I feel like something that somebody's doing here impulsively right here. Yeah. Somebody could be on to it or listening to it or I don't know. Because that wants is impulsive. And then right here, conversation. So I feel like impulsive conversation. So, but you could be going for air sign. Maybe you have air in your chart. Okay, but somebody here knows what the conversation is, I feel, in some way. So, I, oh, they're listening to it, I feel, in some way here. Okay, maybe somebody says something impulsively or this is about lusting. Okay. Yeah, commitment, partner, boyfriend, and girlfriend right here. Okay. Sorry about that. Something that popped on the screen. But it says commitment, partner, boyfriend, and girlfriend right here. All right. And then 888. The 888 is the number of incoming power and wealth and my money maybe right here. Okay. So, all right. So, I just feel like right here, right, Um, somebody could be lusting about you for some people right here. But I feel like somebody's very intuitive. Something is fake about all of them. Get right here. Intuition right here. Okay. Premonition right here. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Okay. Premonition right here that we're going to be talking about next. Revelation. This is divine intervention. Okay. Divine timing. Okay. Everything here is working in the energy of divine. Some way. God is here in the midst. Okay. Premonition. Divine timing. It says wrong timing to be a stalemate. The perfect timing or waiting. Right. Either way, divine intervenes. Just pray. So they're going to intervene about something right here. Okay. Yeah. It says shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. Something is conflict in some way, right? Yeah. Or something that somebody's doing in some way, somebody's gonna mirror it to them. They're gonna look at themselves, I feel. Something here something here that is happening, the mind makes them look at themselves. I feel like this is fate, okay, that they will see this about themselves or something is fate about right now or something like that. It's fate, okay. So let's do it right here. Let's take a look at divine timing real quick. Because we know that this whole timing here is fate, okay? What's divine timing? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's divine timing? Part right here. Okay. Sign synchronicity right here. Coincidence, a signal, a hint, message from the universe. So everything that's happening right now, I feel like divine intervenes in this. It's crazy, okay? Somebody may be crushed. I feel like when they think back to something right here, they realize that you're intuitive. Somebody's a psychic I'm getting right here. Yeah, the divine is intervening in this right here. This could be an old flame with somebody right here, but somebody's intuitive, I feel. Okay, they're very, very intuitive right here. They know right here that something is going on here some way. Okay, I feel like it's it's just too much fate in this situation right now. Okay. Revelation. This is divine intervention. Let's see what that is. What's the message there right here? Revelation is divine intervention, please. This is water signs. Okay. It says inheritance right here. They left you money. Mm -hmm. So divine intervenes is somebody leaving money. It says you're a blessed child of a loving universe right here. I feel like somebody here is going to feel it right here. Grief and sadness right here about something right here. How divine intervenes about something. You know, it's the facts right here that no man is too busy for somebody to truly want. Somebody knows that, okay? Then they're, they're intuitive. They're gonna figure that out. I feel. All right. One, one card here, premonition. Premonition, because that's also here, okay? Let's see here. 
Yeah. See, somebody gets a premonition right here. Caution. Something like that. Or to focus or to study or to look at something right here. Could be the case. I also feel like somebody here is very um, friendly. Yeah. Or caution, study. Some friendliness. Somebody's cheerful. There's fun, freshness. Okay. Could be the case here. It even could be the smell of lemons. I don't know if something like that is significant. Do you use lemons as um smell therapy? Look at that. Don't underestimate somebody here some way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, prepare now because this is a miracle. Okay. All right. Don't underestimate them. We're right here. Hidden for now. Still a mystery. Mm. Something could be hidden about something. Something is mysterious. I just feel like it's only 12th house energy. That divine is inter interfering here through intuition. It's not seen on a physical in some way. Or somebody's not seen on a physical. Ooh, have you seen them? The stalker and the peep of Tom. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Something like that. Interesting. What else? Divine. Okay, yeah. Three, three, three. It says you're a blessed child of a loving universe right here. Okay. Mind, body, and soul. Don't give up. Rewards are coming. Be happy. Find your balance right here. Okay. Okay. Don't underestimate somebody here. Some way I kind of feel. Divine is intervening. Your intuition is talking to you or... Have you seen something or somebody or something? That's something like that. They're intervene, intervening here. Okay. It's something about the wrong time to be a stalemate. Right? But it also could be the right time for something here too. Any last message here, please? For water signs, please cancer Pisces Scorpio. Any last message here? I see anything else here. Yeah, nine of wands right here and the ace of wands. See, somebody knows it's gonna be too hard right here to hold on to the Pisces. I'm getting right here, but they're still me. It's pretty. That's gonna be too hard. I'm getting right here. Yeah, see, life is good with you, I feel. Okay. But it's definitely too hard, I'm getting right here, to hold on to this Pisces if they're still me. I get the sense. Or the cancer or whoever else it is. Okay, it's, it's gonna be too hard. I'm getting right here to do that. To to be avoiding something or be a stalemate or not really be into something. That's too hard to have an illusion in some way right here. Yeah, I feel. Cause I feel like somebody studies or somebody knows right here if they're into something or not. I get the sense. Mm. They know that if you look for some people right here, right? Pisces definitely knows to get right here. You know, they, they, they rule the 12th house. It's something his illusion, something like that, okay? Yeah, or somebody's juggling, or if they have the structure discipline, okay? Or cancer, or something like that, okay? Any other message? So, yeah, I feel like somebody is going to pick up if somebody's juggling or something like that. Yeah, or somebody already figured this out in the past. I'm also getting too. They could have already figured this out in the past. Or maybe you had a past life for them. Could be the case. But this is the past right here, right? And this is figuring it out, I feel, in the past, right? Or I'm getting like a past life with them. Okay? Yeah. I feel like, but you tame them. Right here, this one right here. But you tame their ego or something like that. Or you make them see something like here. I'm getting like, you're going to make them see right here, okay? Some shadow side or some flaw or whatever they're doing in some type of way. I feel like you're going to make them see that right there with this one right here, I feel. Right? Yeah. Okay? Because I feel like at the end of the day, something that's, something that's handed or offered here is stable in some way. Right? But they can't, they can't do some illusion or fantasy or whatever with this Pisces I'm getting what else it is, okay? They can't. Or you, something like that. They're going to feel foolish. They're going to feel foolish right here for even playing with somebody like that. I get the sense. Because I feel like that you're really good news right here. Or you're curious. Don't ask, don't underestimate them. You're curious about something right here, I feel. Right? You have insight right here about a relationship or you will end it. I get the sense. Okay? And somebody going to feel foolish right here that you're that twin flame for some people here. You're that twin flame. I'm getting right here with the empress right here and the four wands. I mean, the emperor in the four wands. 
You could be that twin flame. They're going to feel foolish right here. The twin flame mirrors them or the twin flame right here is going to make them see themselves or to see right through them. Something like that. <laughs> Anyways, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, okay? Thank you so much. I send you all peace, blessings, love, and light, okay? Namaste to you.